March 1942, Captain James L. Neefis, returning to his dugout quarters on Midway. Flying a Brewster Buffalo and leading a three-plane section, had just returned from shooting down a Japanese Mavis amphibious patrol bomber. The first known shoot down of a Japanese aircraft by a U.S. Marine, which Admiral Nimitz awarded him the Navy Cross, he earned his wings in 1936, retired in June 1960 to after 14 years as a full colonel, a rank achieved in August 1950 while CAG-23 for the Incheon landing. Ordered to learn to fly helicopters, he helped develop USMC vertical envelopment tactics due to his experience in close air support in the Solomon Islets campaign as a squadron leader of VRF-215 and then assistant air ops officer on General Geiger's staff. In the hands of pilots tasked to go with the crunchies, he personally checked out Charles Lindbergh on the FU Corsair in theater. His last billet was as chief of staff, 2nd Marine Air Wing, Cherry Point, NC. He is buried in Arlington National Cemetery.